Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. Good morning, how you doing? Well, Scoops and I are getting the heck out of Twin Falls here. And I'm going to take a little different route. We're going to go what they call the Idaho Byways, which cuts up through the state. They're all state routes. And I'm going to show you a couple things. I was down through here about four, I think it was around four years ago. And I always wanted to come back and stop and film it, so... Anyway, just across the bridge up here, I'm going to make a quick stop and show you the first sight. So we just crossed the bridge over this gorge and take a look at this thing. <laughs> I mean, it is way down there. There's the bridge, just crossed over it. Big old span bridge. Anyway, we'll walk down here to the overhang. And this is eerie. I mean, this thing is way down there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Like a mini Grand Canyon. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I am not sure what river that is down there. Um, I know the Snake River runs over by Idaho Falls. I don't know if that's it or not. That thing is way down there. There's a boat way down there, too. Looks like a little dot so anyway i thought this was awful cool just had to show you okay head back up to the car <coughs> scoopsters in there waiting okay this is nine highway 93 uh north and we're going to take it up about 30 miles and we're going to start heading to the east over towards uh I-15. And you go through a bunch of little towns and stuff, but it's a real pretty drive and uh, just a nice way to cut through Idaho. All these little towns are RV friendly. They all got a couple parks and they're tiny towns, but they like RVers here. That's for sure. You know, Idaho's old. I mean, old history here. It goes way back. A lot of these old buildings have been here since the pioneers. Really a cool place. Look at the big pines, too. Just a pretty area. Okay, we're almost up here. I'm going to make a stop right up the road. Okay, welcome to the Craters of the Moon National Preserve. Now this place is something else. Look at all the lava rock. There is hundreds of square miles of lava rock. We're right at the very beginning. This is the map of the road up here, but it's right along the main highway. So we're going to drive up, but just check it out. On both sides, you can actually see where the lava, this is like 15,000 years ago when this lava flo uh, flowed through here. They have names for everything, too. Uh, like, th that's the hill that survived the flow. There's trees growing above the, all the lava rock. There's quite a bit of snow. I hope this is turning out okay on video. And there's some stories of, like, wagon trains coming through and settlers. And quite a history-rich area. I mean, look at that. That's all lava. The snow kind of goofs it up. When I was here before, it was no snow. But Anyway, it gives you an idea of what it is. Okay, right up the road here is the visitor center and campground. We'll stop in there, check it out. Okay, I don't know what's open. It's still, well, it's April 1st today, so let's see what it is. Still quite a bit of snow, but you can tent camp. They even got RV sites <laughs> with hookups. You camp, you camp in the lava. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to drive back, see what's up. Okay, the visitor center had open signs on it, but no camping. They got the camp areas blocked off. There's a motorhome parked there. I mean, you don't have to camp here. You can just stop and visit for a day and keep on going. Well, I asked him. There's no charge to drive back in here, but all you can do is... This, there's a place called... Uh, 
uh, the North Crater or something. Anyway, we'll go check it out. Really well maintained. I mean, look, this road's brand new. I have no clue what the rates are. I think it said like 12 bucks for a day pass. I don't know what camping costs. Okay, I'm going to park here to, next to Mr. Ranger and get out and take some pictures. Well, this is just too cool. This is called the North Crater Flow Trail. That means 15,000 years ago, I'm standing right in the middle where the lava was flowing. <laughs> A big river of lava was flowing right here where I'm standing. And that's what's left. They call it a crater, a moon crater. Google Maps would be something to look at on this thing. See, North Crater Flow Trail. You are here. That's where I'm standing right there. <laughs> That is this way too cool. Got to check this out. If you're in uh, Idaho, definitely stop by and see this thing. Way too cool. All right. Well, that was cool. Go up here and check out. It's a gift shop in their visitor center. We'll take a quick look in there, real quick. A visitor center here for the Craters of the Moon uh, Monument and Preserve. Okay, now they have facilities for the campgrounds out there. Nice building. No one's here. And there's restrooms in here, too. Kind of like vending machines and that kind of stuff. Let's go in the gift shop side. Okay, they sell hats and shirts and books and maps and all that. Like novelty stuff. Now they have a little museum in the back. Craters of the Moon. Check this out. This is nice. Holy moly. Yeah. There's a recording going, description of what goes on, how this stuff was all formed. Very nice. Well, you could spend a little time in here and read all this stuff. I don't. <laughs> I just look at the pictures. Hey, photographer. No, I'll, I'll read that one. <laughs> all right, time to get out of here. Well, that's a nice little stop. Uh, once they get open, they said they I talked to the ranger in there, and uh, the campground's open about the middle of April. Depends on the snow. They said when the snow melts, they open them up. And they do have RV sites, but you really got to make reservations if you want to camp here. Alrighty, well, our journey continues. So, from the middle of nowhere in Idaho. <laughs> This is State Route 33. Our journey continues. You see those white cap mountains way up there in the front? Those are the Rocky Mountains. That's where Scoob and I are heading next. We're heading north. So the journey continues. Anyway, this is Russ. I'm going to sign off now. Hope everyone has a great day. And don't forget to travel safe. Talk to you soon.